beat and the record on repeat. Took a sip and another sip, then somebody said to me, Nick, why you baby sitting only two or three shots? I'ma show you how to turn it up a notch. First you hear the swimming pool full of liquor, then you dive in it. Pool full of liquor, then you dive in it. I wave a few bottles, then I watch them all fly. All the girls wanna play, babe, watch. Good morning vlog. It's your girl Slim and I'm back with another video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back to the channel. Gang, my real name is Ricky Sakane. You can call me Slim. I go by either or. I'm not sure what this title is yet. I don't know if it's going to be a productive day in my life or a soul diary video i don't know yet but i decided to pick up the camera and vlog today because i'm having a productive day today look at this like how did i get there but if you're about to tell me you already know what this video is so that's all i'm gonna say that's why you clicked <laughs> period but yeah y'all so i have a list of things that i want to do today it is currently 11:30. I usually wake up early, but I slept in today because y'all, when I tell y'all, I didn't have a draining week. It's currently Monday, but I didn't have a draining week, weekend, all that, like, tired, haven't had no rest. So I slept in this morning, got up, did, like, my daily devotional, read the word, listened to some sermons, I journaled, all that good stuff. Y'all, when y'all wake up in the morning, please don't go straight to social media. Like I said in my last video, like, y'all should get into journaling in the morning or even before you go to sleep. And just um you know write your plans for today you know just get your mind like in the right headspace you know so you can start your day good in a positive attitude <clears throat> so hold on. so yeah i have a list of things that i'm going to do today and y'all are gonna come along with me because i haven't really had a productive like monday in a minute really a productive day for real in a minute um but yeah so right now i'm about to go in the bathroom and get myself together because like i said i just got up you know i just got up and laid my outfit out for the day this is like my workout outfit and i have another top that's like another workout outfit for another outfit but i like paired them together because y'all it is cold outside it is 60 hold on focus 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 yeah look at that body look at that body hold on look at that body yeah don't play but sorry okay it's 63 degrees because it don't want to focus and show y'all but yeah so you know I gotta start shopping for the winter, for the fall, because all I have is cold, just on my clothes. But yeah, so this is my outfit for today. I don't know if I'm gonna wear, I don't know if I'm gonna wear my Crocs or like my ones, but it most likely will be my ones. And I have some perfume. Hold on. Why does it wanna focus? Is it because it's dark in here? I have some perfume that I got from Marshalls, y'all. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Don't be sleeping on Marshall's because Marshall's got some good perfume. Like it smells so good and this lasts me all day. We got some EOS lotion, my ordinary. Y'all know my skincare. We got some good molecules. You know, you know, you know. So yeah. So I'm gonna see y'all when I get in the bathroom. Alright, y'all. Finally in the bathroom. I'm gonna get my life together. And y'all already know I'm about to speed this up because I don't do too much talking. And I'm in the bathroom. So, yeah. 
Get him out of here. Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my I'm just dropped my nose ring And I don't even know where it went I really feel like it fell down the drain towards my mirror and I just look at me through my mirror. I'm sorry, I don't know why my shirt looks like this. But I'll just have y'all face in my mirror sometimes and just look at me. But this time I'm gonna try something different. Have y'all just facing me. Y'all I'm gonna go by get a nose ring. Cause my nose ring fell in the sink. And I know it fell in the sink because I don't see it on the floor. I don't see it on the sink. I think I'm gonna buy me another hoop. Instead of um a stud part because the studs be coming out too easily for me. And I really don't like that. So I'm gonna buy another one of those today for my whole close up because we don't want that happening, obviously. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do <sighs> before I start my errands. That's gonna be my first errand is go to the beauty store. 
What type of edge control do y'all use? Because I used to use Edge Booster. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. I used to use this Edge Booster. But as soon as I used to walk outside, man, it used to just, it wouldn't last me. It lasted me for like, I want to say it lasted me a few years. But after a while, it just stopped working. So I started using Got To Be Glue. And Got To Be Glue be lasting me. Lasting me through the heat, through the cold. The only time it don't last me is in the gym. Because I be sweating and it just start melting on my face. So That's why I told him I be wearing a scarf. Because it be melting down my face. And I don't like that. I be thinking this. Well, it be sweat and the um the glue coming down my face. And I don't like that at all. So I stop trying to do my edges when I go to the gym. Cause sometimes I be filming content and I don't want to be, be looking like crusty and stuff. So I'll be trying to like look a little decent, but I stop doing my edges. Going to the gym. Y'all, for some reason, my edges on this side, I have more edges on this side than this side. And that's what any hairstyle I get. Like, that's always how they do my edges. It's like, y'all y'all can, like, pull some out. Because I don't like how I be having more edges on one side than the other side. You don't be looking right sometimes. I, I haven't worn a wig. I haven't worn a wig in, like, Two years. Yeah, I haven't worn a wig in two years. So I can't say like my edges are gone from the wigs because it's been two years. Like my edges can go back in two years. And they have. So it's like, I don't know why, like every time I get my hair done, it's always less edges on this side. Like, I don't know. It's weird, but it's cool. This is getting on my nerves. Let me put this down some. But yeah. Um, can you see me? Just making sure you can see me. I'm also filming another vlog right now. I'm filming two videos actually. My homecoming week vlog. And I'm filming this, so I got a lot of content coming for y'all in this month of October. And if y'all haven't watched my monthly reset, go watch it. I'm really trying to be consistent. I've been so like, oh my gosh, my life been all over the place. It's just been so much going on at one time. I'm trying to do a lot at one time. So that's why my monthly reset took forever to come out because i filmed my monthly reset on time like, i filmed that very early it just took me a minute to edit it and upload it like i'm still not editing i mean in this video like right now as i'm filming like i'm still not done editing it but y'all definitely gonna get that video before y'all see this obviously because that's gonna go up before this video but i'm gonna finish that's the part of my productive day today is Finish editing that vlog so I can get it out for y'all about tonight or at least tomorrow. Cause that has to go. It's been two weeks since I dropped the video. And I told myself I'm trying to drop at least one or two videos every, I'm trying to drop a video every, I wanna say three days. Like I'm just trying to be so consistent. I wanna drop back to back. Cause sometimes I'll just wait a week before I drop. But I want to drop back to that. Like, one of the people, like, who really motivate me to drop, like, back to back like that is Taiki. Y'all should go watch her. Taiki, like, she be dropping back to back. I be like, dang, girl, I need to get like you. So she really motivate me to drop videos back to back. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Huh? No, mine. Yeah, you can come in. Like that. 
Mm -mm. Hey guys. How are y'all doing? Are you gonna I know y'all tired of seeing me, but don't be. They love you. <sighs> they love you, Buki. I'm actually taking the time to make my myself look presentable today because I'm taking my passport pictures. I'm supposed to be renewing my passport. That's a part of my that's a part of my agenda today. Is renewing my passport. So that's the first thing I'm doing is going to renew my passport. So I gotta take passport pictures. Cause we got some travel vlogs coming. Stay tuned. And I used to travel a lot, but that was back when I wasn't really taking YouTube serious so i didn't really vlog my trips for real but now that i take youtube like a hundred percent serious y'all gonna definitely be getting vlogs of me going out the country like stop playing okay 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 so i'm done hold on let me fix y'all i'm done doing my edges This is the fit. I'm using the tooth tripod because mine's so big. But this is the fit. This black two piece. I want to fix my buttons so bad. Purr, look at the game. Purr. But yeah. So I'm gonna see y'all either. I think I'm gonna definitely see y'all gonna go to the spot store when I get me another nose ring because it's not giving. But yeah. If I wrote you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me, what would you do? If I told you you were beautiful, would you date me on the regular? Well, baby, I've been around the world, but I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart, but there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do, because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby. My lady, girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love So don't give away So don't give away Yeah, 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 yeah For a crown roll Wherever I'm at, I'ma work my flick But I ain't gotta call the bro uh, It is Alright, y'all, I'm back from Beast Plus store I didn't record in here, I forgot But I got a new nose ring and I got my cousin some lashes because she wanted me to buy her some lashes and yes I sell lashes but my lashes are so long she don't wear long lashes so got her some lashes that she wanted and I got some more um some more lip gloss my favorite one well it's called lip therapy and you last longer than lip gloss but yeah i got a new nose ring i think it's the same one hold on i think it's the same one that i have on right now but i didn't get a, a stud i got a hoop yep it's the same one i got a hoop because it would last longer so that's what i'm about to do so i'm about to do this real quick and i'm gonna tap in with y'all because i need to make it to this passport place because i've been dreading going to this passport place so i'm gonna see y'all hold on y'all tell me how life is life is so bad right now like today is not working out in my favor right now and i'm about to cry but i'm gonna hold it together okay i'm about to hold it together tell me why i'm just come up to the post office and it's closed like the passport place they're closed i came to a different location they're closed y'all why nobody told me today was columbus day like i did not know today was a holiday and second why are they closed on columbus day uh like dang i'm so i'm so blow right now 
like i've been postponing this for too long so i'm gonna have to go tomorrow because i originally scheduled an appointment for tomorrow at a different location but i was like maybe i can go to the same place i went to the first time which was which i went to last time i came to this location the last time and i had something else to do so i couldn't come back but now i'm trying to come back and they're closed like i'm so upset but whatever that's neither here or there i guess i'll just go tomorrow it's cool i'm not gonna stress about that i can still get done i'm currently gonna go to the mall because victoria's secret is having a sale for 10 panties for um for 30 dollars. so i'm gonna get me some and i'm gonna get my best friend and my um cousin some and i'm gonna get them some flowers because they both both of them just got a new job so i'm gonna get them some flowers and a card and i'm gonna get them some panties you know i'm just so proud of them i love them so much they're like my bestest friends in the world even though my cousin is my cousin and she's like my best friend as well so i really love them and i'm so proud of them they work so hard and they deserve the world as much as i deserve the world so why not i treat everybody like i treat people the way i want to be treated and listen i want them to know that their hard work never go unnoticed and they deserve the world plus more let me tell you what a nigga won't do for you yo bestie will ah! wait so i'm on the way to the mall i don't know if i can bring my camera in there because baby they be tripping in this mall y'all they be tripping in this mall so i might just record on my phone you know record on my phone and yeah so that is the move right now and that's what i'm about to go do so i'm gonna see y'all when i get to the mall when i get in victoria's secret i love when they have this sale this is the last day they finna have this sale so i was like you know let me take my butt to the mall and hop on this sale if i wrote you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me if I told you you were beautiful, would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world, but I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart, but there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do, because I can see us. Ain't no second chance. Ain't no father on the round. Ain't no father that a dance. So y'all, I just got to Target and I am about to go in here. I made like a list, not too much, but just a few things. I'm gonna see if they have like flowers. I'm gonna get some cards for them. You know, tell them how much I am proud of them. They appreciate them because they're like the most important people in my life. I don't know why I'm in a giving like. Well, I always give, but like right now I'm just such in a giving spirit. See y'all in Target. Walking on the beach, I chose in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be. So y'all, I ended up leaving Target because they didn't have any flowers. They actually ran out of flowers. And they always have flowers. So I was like, I'm just gonna go to Walmart and I put like my soaps and stuff back. And I was like, I'm just gonna get it from Walmart. Whew, y'all saw the breakfast, I'm tired. But um, yeah, so we're finna go to Walmart and get the flowers and like my other necessities. And they didn't even have the wipes I usually use either. It's like, what's up, Target? Like, why y'all not having the things I need right now? But I guess I'm gonna see y'all at Walmart. <laughs> Okay, um, I am back at the crib. I am so tired. Y'all, I left the house at, I think like 1.40. It is 5.48. And when I tell y'all, I feel like 
Even though this was supposed to be a productive day, I don't know if this is a productive day or a slow diary, but either way it go, this was supposed to be a productive day. And I'm so sad because half of the things that I put on my list, I still haven't got done yet. I'm so sad about the whole password thing because I really want to get that, get that out the way. But like I said, I'm gonna get that done tomorrow. I called my school, so that was a part of my agenda. I called my school. I journaled and listened to a sermon. <sighs> Have a little self-care. This morning, that was a little part of my self-care, getting myself together, because I've been working so much. I really haven't been getting into my self, my skin. I've just been getting up, brush my teeth, wash my face, and going to work. Like I haven't had time to just sit down and just relax, because I've just been so busy and so tired. Um, I have some more things on my list that I'm not going to say like on camera. That's just stuff I need to worry about. But yeah, so I'm back home in... I bought them these cute little roses from Walmart. They are so freaking cute. Like, oh my gosh. I love them so much. And then, like I told y'all, I went to Victoria's Secret. So I'm gonna, um, they was having a sale for 10 for 38. So I got them some and I got me some. And I'm gonna put theirs in like separate bags. So y'all gonna watch me do that. And then, what else? Oh, what else? I got them some cards. I got them some congratulations cards for both of them, for both getting their new jobs. So proud of them. Then I went and got some, um, I got some more hygiene stuff. I got me some more soap. If y'all know, y'all know, I usually don't be using like bar soap. I use the actual bottle. But I was like, you know, let me try the bar soap this time. Cause I'm, I wanna tell y'all I go through my bottle so fast. So I was like, let me see how fast I can go through the bar soap. So I got that. I got some wipes. I got some more Method Body. Smells so good. And I got some more mouthwash. So that's what I did at Walmart. I spent more than what I was supposed to at Walmart. Ciao. Tired of spending money. Tired of being grown. Okay? Tired. Let me see which one is mine and which one is theirs. I really don't even know for real. I think this one. Come, Hold on. Hold on. Come take a walk with me. Okay, this one is mine. This one is theirs. So, I got an extra bag. It's hard to give me an extra bag. But y'all are about to watch me do it. I'm not going to talk too much. symphony just to say how much you mean to me what would you do if i told you you were beautiful would you date me on the regular tell me would you well baby i've been around the world but i ain't seen myself another girl like you this ring here represents my heart there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can So y'all I'm done um, Fixing up their bag And their roses Let me show y'all How I set it up for my cousin I put it on her bed mm, So cute Let me show y'all This is how I put it on her bed Look at her bed It looks so comfy in heavenly autumn white sheets but yeah so cute but y'all i am currently on my laptop and i'm about to finish editing my monthly reset video i've been dreading 
ending this vlog i'm so tired right now but i need to get this vlog out because i haven't uploaded in 12 days and like i told y'all i'm trying to get back consistent on my channel but i'm almost done i'm almost done editing it i'm gonna try to edit it I'm going to try to finish editing it tonight so I can upload it tomorrow. But in about 45 minutes, I'm about to leave again because I'm about to go to Buckhead Church. If y'all know, if you know, you know, I'll be going to Buckhead Church on Mondays. I haven't been last Monday because they didn't have last Monday. But I haven't been going every single Monday because I just, I don't know. I've been so busy, but I'm going to go this Monday. Me and my best friend are supposed to be going today. And I'm bringing y'all so stay tuned i'm so excited i haven't been in a minute and i'm so excited to go i'm excited to hear the word what he has to say because every time i go it's always a word that pertains to my situation or like my life so i'll be excited and if you don't know what Blake Hat church is it's like a church it's not like a regular church that you go to on sunday but it's like a college church it's a church for college students to help you like build a relationship with god and get closer to god and it's really good and also, I have this daily strength devotional book for women. I got it from Amazon a year ago. I really need to buy another one because I really, if I'm being honest, I finished this book, but I got it in the middle of the year. So I basically like started over because I didn't start from the beginning, but now I started from the beginning. So I'm going to order me like two more. And yeah, I really love it. And I um, recommend y'all getting this and reading it. I try to read it every morning. I don't read it every morning. I'm starting to read it every morning, but I'm doing way better. So I did read this morning. I told y'all in the beginning of my vlog, I did read this morning. So yeah, but I'm gonna buy two more and I'm gonna buy another journal because my journal is getting full. But like I tell y'all all the time, I even told y'all like um in my monthly reset vlog, you know, make sure like y'all journal every day, like in the morning or before you go to sleep. Just take time for yourself and just meditate and just pray. Cause you know, life been life be life in, especially for me. Life been life is so bad. And I feel like the only person I could call on and depend on right now in my life is God. And I know, you know, he won't forsake me, he won't leave me hanging. And even when I feel alone, I know he's on my side. Even though I have, you know, people that's by my side at the end of the day, no matter what, like, I always have to lean on and depend on God at the end of the day. And that's what I'm just telling myself. Like, no matter what you go through, like, I try to, like, be positive in a way. Because it's been really hard. And I don't know. It's just been, life has been life there. And i just been praying very heavy. Because that's all I can do is pray. But you know, your current situation is not your final destination. Trouble do not last always. So that's all I'm just trying to tell myself. Just trying to be positive. <sighs> Cause that's all like you could do. I try not to sit in my like sadness or like just be down all the time because I do really have a hard time. Like this is like a transparent moment with y'all. Like I don't really be letting y'all know too much i don't really because i don't really put the bad stuff not you know people don't really put what they going through for real on social media and it's not like i be going through stuff like bad stuff but like i don't like to get on camera when i'm like going through something or just i don't know how to explain it but honestly this season of my life has been like rocky and stuff so i've just been trying to hang in there i still be trying to be productive like it's just been so much on my plate and I'm still trying to, like, be positive through this storm, even though it was hard. Like, one day I can get up and be like, okay, we're going to have a great day. And I promise y'all, every time I get up and say I'm going to have a great day, it's always something, literally something every time that tries to ruin my day, ruin my peace. And when I say I wake up every morning and I say we're going to have a great day today, and I rebuke anything that's coming to destroy my peace, and I feel like, it's a test from God. Like, he's trying to see if I'm going to let that ruin my day. And I'm not even going to lie, y'all. Sometimes I fail. And that's something I'm trying to, like, get better at. Is like, letting things ruin my day or let, let things ruin my mood. Because if you let things ruin your day, ruin your mood, that means they have the power. That thing that's ruining your day has the has power over you. And you cannot let that thing, that person, or that, that situation take control of you 
take control of you and have that power over you. So that's something like I'm trying to like, you know, practice because, you know, I be speaking real facts sometimes and I be trying to actually practice what I preach. I give good advice to my friends and everybody else, but sometimes I don't even take my own advice and I really be trying to practice what I preach because I be preaching some real life stuff. So that's what I'm currently trying to do. I'm trying to practice what I preach. I'm trying to not like dwell on things. I'm not trying to be sad or sit in my sadness. I'm really just trying to be positive throughout everything. And I know everything will happen in my favor. Everything I've been praying for, everything I've been manifesting will happen in my favor. And I do believe like whatever I am going through is a part of my come up story because I know I am destined to be great. Like I'm great right now. I'm not at my full potential yet. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. But I feel like what I'm going through is building me into the person I'm supposed to become. And that's what I'm just trying to put in my head. Like, you know, so the road to become successful is very bumpy. Like, nobody becomes successful overnight. And it's, no, it's like stuff don't get handed to you. Like, you have to go through things. And you have to work hard. And I feel like everything I've just been going through, like, it's a part of my comp story of me to become successful and just becoming the independent woman I'm supposed to be, you know, and I became an independent girl at a very, very young age, and sometimes I be so shook that I'm even, like, this young, and I be handling my business, like, I just, like, sometimes I just be like, wow, like, because they be, it's like people my age that don't even have the same mindset as me, like, I have a mindset over of an older person me and my best friend like when i tell y'all no i don't think nobody will ever understand like what me and my best friend went through or go through and i feel like we stress so much about our future and i feel like you know young adults our age be stressing about the now and we be stressing about the future and just like how we gonna get there and it's like i'm just so proud of me and my best friend because we done came so far like and we're so mature for our age we're so it's just crazy because like i said not too many young adults have the same mindset we do or even older people don't even have the same mindset we do like we don't we are young and we really be making stuff happen by ourselves with no help and that just be shocking me sometimes and i just be like because the younger like oh my god the me the younger me in the past like or even the past me like if somebody would have just told me this how I would be like if this how my mindset was I would not even like believe myself because I'm not gonna, like I feel like I've always been mature like my whole life but I feel like as I keep growing and growing my maturity like level is just growing too like I'm just growing and growing as a person and it's like I don't know it's crazy and it's so crazy because people don't even be thinking I'm 20 like the way I act the way I move, people think I'm so much older. And I just be like, no, y'all, I'm 20 years old. Even when I was 19, like, people thought I was, like, 21 or, like, 23 or, like, 24. Like, people really be thinking me and my best friend are older based off, like, our mindset and how we move and how we act. Like, let me tell y'all something. We are growing up. We're not getting any younger. We are really getting older. And even though I'm young, I'm only 20. Like, I have so much, so much I want to do in my life. And I'm not saying I have to be at a certain point by a certain age. Like, that don't even matter. Because I feel like this generation makes it seem like you have to just be, you have to have everything all together by 21. And I'm not saying, I would love for that to happen for me. But if it don't happen for me, I'm not going to, like, stress about it and cry about it or, like, compare myself to other people. That's fine. Like, everybody's journey is different. So... All in all, I just want to say, no matter what you're going through, like, this is not your final destination. Your current situation is not your final destination. You know, trouble does not last always. God can get you through any and every storm, you know. You know, it's going to rain. Like, it's going to rain. It's going to storm. But at the end of the day, baby, by tomorrow, the sun is going to come up and it's going to be sunny. Okay? Like, don't dwell on like what you're going through right now because you're not going to go through it forever it's just it's just a temporary situation and that's what i'll be trying to tell myself and that's what i'm going to tell y'all so at in every video i film i'm gonna try to give y'all some type of like motivational or inspirational like um 
not quote, but a message, you know? It's just so crazy because I really feel like God put me through certain stuff to, like, make me, like, I don't want to say grow up because I'm not childish. But, like, I don't know. Like, he's really trying to, like, mold me and build me into the woman I'm supposed to be. Like, that's what I really feel like. Like, I don't know. But that's what I just wanted to tell y'all. I'm about to finish editing my video. And I'm going to see y'all when I start heading to the church. Yeah. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me what you Well, baby, I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Like you This ring here represents my heart just one thing I need from you Say I do Hi Buki My nurse Little Michelle Obama Y'all I did her hair Let them see I never so took cute. How it's, many days has it been? I don't know but it's like, there a couple? It's like, so a cute hour, right? right? My little Michelle Obama Nice. She's gonna come save somebody at church when they fall out when they hear this word. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so I gotta make this quick. But we made it to the church, and for dinner, they got us Chick fil A, a sandwich, and some chips. So we can eat real quick, and then we're gonna go sit down. radar tonight so, so, so you might feel far from God you might feel like you walked in the room and, and you were here to support you were here for the free Chick-fil-a uh, I, I don't know why you were here maybe you don't even know why you're here but you came in the room tonight and, and you can tell me one thing you were nowhere near God but I just want you to know that if that's you you walked in the room and you were all over God's radar tonight he saw you he sees you and he knows exactly what is going on in your life. And he's proud of you. And you haven't disqualified yourself. And you're worthy of his love. And there's nothing that you could ever do or say to change that. So here's what I wanna do. I think there's two groups of people I wanna to speak to tonight. Number one, there's some of you in the room who are like, yeah, yeah, I wanna put my faith and trust in Jesus, Pastor. So like, why don't you go ahead and give me the opportunity right now to do that? You don't need me to give you the opportunity to do that, uh, but I'd love to invite some of you to do that. The scriptures are clear. You confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead that you'll be saved. So I would like to, to lead you, anyone who wants to make that decision, in a prayer tonight, but the prayer doesn't save you. Your faith in Jesus saves you. The prayer just solidifies what God is doing in your heart. So just so I know who I'm, I'm praying for, not to put you on the spot, we're not all looking around or anything like that, but just so I know who I'm praying for, would you just shoot your hand up tonight if you want to put your faith and trust in Jesus for the very How was service today? <laughs> How was service today? It was good. I landed a new church town. <laughs> but it was nothing about baptisms. Yeah, we had baptism today. No words of wisdom. Well, a word I got is well i'm gonna tell y'all in a car but yeah but um church was good it is freezing you get my food yeah i'm gonna give it to you thank you Lord. we're hungry so but 
What the heck? Why is he out his room? What the <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said that. Okay. The ghetto. Man, our service was good. Like, I can't wait to come back next Monday because it's going to be so fun. <sighs> I'm going to give her a gift, y'all. I didn't want her to follow me to my car. She would not stop following me to my car. But I'm about to give it to her. So hold on. It was leftovers. Take the food. I'm sorry. Here, I bought you food too. Thank you, babe. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Yeah, right, <laughs> y'all, I am so proud of my best friend. Earlier in the vlog, I was just telling y'all about how, like, me and my best friend, like, we are like so mature for our age, and like, you know, we are so young, but like, we accomplish so much stuff by ourselves. And my best friend, one of her dreams was to become a nurse. And now she's officially working in a hospital before she graduated college and she is only 20. Like, how do you feel? I feel really good. I mean, I always wanted to be a nurse, but I always want to work with kids. So now the fact that I'm able to do what I love, yet working with kids is very eye-opening. I had plenty of times where I wanted to give up on my passion. <laughs> Speak louder. Because uh, the scats are out sad. all of a sudden. <laughs> So give her a yeah, word of motivation. Where I wanted to give up on life and not life, well, not give up on life, but give up on my passion, give up on doing health care, taking care of people, because I thought it wasn't the right path for me, because I would deal with being rejected and declined, and I just kept on going. Yes, I had a few tears on the way, but. It was all worth it. I wouldn't change the the way I I feel like the the what how you say it? Your path? No, like I feel like the trials the journey. and tribulations, yeah, the journey, how hard your journey is just just makes you more grateful for you reaching your goal. So my word of wisdom is to never give up, keep on pushing. Even though you feel like there's no more pushing you could do it might just take that one last push to reach your goal so never give up and yeah stay dangerous okay <laughs> period <laughs> to run up the stairs every go? every chance she freaking get can you get that camera <laughs> out of my fucking face like, like do you see how crazy I look? I'm not trying to be played with right now. Why? What? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Play is blurry. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh my gosh, Bella. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my gosh! No one has never done anything like this for me. I'm like, why did? They <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Even oh. though you paid for the lashes, but I just put it in there. Thank you. This was really nice of you. Oh. <laughs> what? The? What? <laughs> I'm like, when is she coming upstairs? <laughs> Hurry up. Girl, I was cleaning. What the fuck? Sorry, I'm going to have to mess this up. No, it's fine. What oh is this? Oh my thing? god. Yo. <laughs> I'm like sick. Like, I'm like, what the? <laughs> like, why she got this camera? Okay, I ran up the stairs. <laughs> I was 
was late, and I hurry up. You did it. Oh my gosh. Hey, pink cousin, congrats on your first photo job. I'm so happy. And you, I'm so happy and proud of you. <laughs> that you are becoming. This is the only beginning for you. Uh, we have definitely watched each other grow. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I love you. Oh my god. Wow. My very first best friend. This is my gift to you. I appreciate you so much. And I always have. You're back. <laughs> you're back. <laughs> you have your back forever, L Reader. Aw, <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. For you and Lexi, because so both of y'all both got a new job. So I was like, you know. Oh my god, I'm in the panties. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I think you want to return your secret. <laughs> and she looked at me weird. I'm like, okay. okay. <laughs> this is so nice. Thank you. Let me see the roses. Let me see the roses. Where'd you get this from? Walmart. You're beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they match like your so shirt. Cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> this is so nice. W cousin. W cousin. <laughs> And W besties. So I was like, oh, me. I was not expecting this. Lexi said the same thing. Let me show you the video that I recorded of her. What? Yo, <laughs> she's hilarious. Oh, she should. Oh, shit. <laughs> I am a W bestie. I'm glad that I made their day today. Despite every, despite how my day didn't go as planned at all, but you know, I'm glad I made their day. But I'm about to end this video. Before I end this video, I just want to say um, what I learned at church today. And I'm just gonna say this, and then I'm gonna end this vlog. Sorry, I don't know why I felt like I was stuttering. That was so weird. But Jesus love you, and He'll never forsake you. He is a way maker and a promise keeper. The comfort. No, he is a way maker and a promise keeper, the comfort to the broken. Even when we don't see it, he's working. He never stopped working. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next video. And I will see y'all.